Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 18, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. So, yes, we have had three really good days um, uh, uh, this week. So, uh, we bottom here roughly at 4,192, and at this current stage, we are trading at 4,411. So, we are basically in a downtrend, and we have been in a downtrend for quite some time. The market actually fell roughly uh, 14%, which is not really much. And therefore, this is probably just the beginning of... Um, trend that's going to continue throughout 2022. Um, if we look, if we go far out, then we have been basically in a really nice uh, bull run uh, for the last two years since we bought it here in March of 2000 and, uh, 2020. And that has basically come to an end. And if you look at the long term for this market, if you look at the Fibonacci's for, for this market, can see that we basically just hit the 23.6 and that is technically nothing so we need at least to hit the 50 so 50 is down here at 3500 and that's kind of the target that's kind of where i think that the market is heading to if we look at how much that basically means in percentages it's down at 3500 give or take that means that the market will drop roughly 25%. And that's a, a fairly a good drop uh, or basically pullback uh, for this market. If it were to drop even further to the to the 60, that's roughly 3,000. Then we have a drop of roughly at, uh, 35, give or take, percent to the, to the downside. And considering how bullish this market has been for the last two years, it it's actually quite a, nice, a good thing in order to buy things on cheap. But at this point, we have three days where this market has rallied roughly 5% to the upside. And we're approaching uh, this red line here, which is the 50 uh, moving average. And that's probably where we'll find quite a lot of uh, difficulties for this market. So this is, uh, it is basically a rally or a, or a, or a bear market rally, if you call, can call that, call it that. If you look at the Fibonacci for this market, we can also see that we're approaching the 50 Fibonacci retracement right here at the 50 moving average. And that's probably where we'll see this turn around and head to the downside. If we take out the lows here, then we will probably drop to 4,000. And if that breaks, then 3,500 is going to be the next target. If you look at the uh, Bollinger Band, we can see that we're hitting the, basically the top of the Bollinger Band, and that's where we're going to find resistance. And this market was just oversold, and therefore this rally was always going to be expected. If you look at the MACD, it has crossed the signal line, still in bearish territory, but it's bullish at this current stage. We can see the RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So we may see another day... Um, another trading day tomorrow where this is going to be bullish but if we run into major troubles here around this area here uh, then that is basically a signal that this probably will uh, turn over there is technically nothing in the market at this current stage uh, which would indicate that um, this is going to be a bullish year at least not yet there's going to be roughly seven rate, rate high hikes in the in the United States, and of course, that will just make it more difficult to uh, to uh, for in order to lend money. So, so all these companies that have basically borrowed the money on the cheap the last two years, that is not come to um, not not going to continue. We can see that we are starting to create a channel, which could basically be an indication where this market will continue to go. So this is basically, we are basically heading at the top of this channel. So we could head and next target will be roughly 4,000. So if you look at the, the NASDAQ, we can see that it's very similar. If we also scroll out, we still, we had this major rally from March 2020 all the way to, to um, 
uh, to January uh, 2022, and then it basically fell apart. So Nasdaq will probably uh, be more bearish than the S&P 500 uh, due to the fact that basically tech stocks will be hit uh, harder by the raising interest rates. But also here, 50 moving average is roughly at the 14,500, and that's probably as far as this market will go. If you look at the Bollinger Band, we'll probably go up towards the 14,500 and then turn around here. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that we will be heading at to the 38.2 Fibonacci. It's right there at the red line where the where we have the 50 moving average as well. If you look at the technical indicators, otherwise we can see the MACD is still bullish in negative territory because the RSI is flat, CCI is becoming bullish, and the stochastic is also bullish, uh, heading towards the um, bullish territory here. But still, probably gonna see uh, one, two, probably three more trading days where we'll have positivity when we get to the 50 moving average. If we run into a lot of resistance there, then we'll probably turn around here and head back into the downside. There is just so much negativity out there, but this market was oversold and you're, you're always going to see these rallies in between, even in the bear market. It, it won't just drop to the very bottom and then go up. It will go back and forward and make lower lows and lower highs and then just continue for probably the next few months or probably years. We haven't had a real bear market for a very, very long time. We have had these major pullbacks here of 25%. Here was roughly 35% drops and so on. But still, the market since the Great Recession has been in a major bull run. If you go, if you look at a weekly chart or the monthly chart, um, a weekly chart we go instead you can see that since basically this was the dot-com bubble this was the great recession since the great recession this has been just going up and up and up if you look at uh, places where we could go to then we have the 150 in the weekly that's right here that's roughly at 11,800 and then we have the 200 moving average in the weekly, which is, give or take, here around 10,500, 400, give or take. That's, that are those moving averages in the weekly chart that we have found major support and where we, we have bound. So we have, a lot of, uh, we have a long way to go. At the moment, probably going up to 14,500, maximum 15,000. Don't think we'll get there. And then we'll just head back down. So, hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.